Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a project share with you today. I have got a uh, swap going on in a Facebook group for fabric tags and I wanted to show you what I came up with. So, first I um, wanted to just say hello to all my new subbies. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this channel I have dedicated to projects, project shares, uh, craft hauls, all different kinds of crafts. Um, I like to do them all. So uh, you'll see a little bit of everything. And if you have ideas or things that you'd like me to make, let me know. I'm always up for a challenge and, and learning new things. So first, oops, I almost forgot part of this. Um, first of all, oh, I'm so sorry. Part of the, um, well, as the group goes, I am swapping with Wendy. Did my camera just move? You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm having malfunctions today. Um, we were asked to sh swap three tags, three fabric tags, and so I was partnered with Wendy, and I've never done this, you guys, so for a swap, so I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I wanted to show you what I came up with. So, <laughs> here goes. This has been a lot of fun, and I went antique shopping in California on my vacation, and I bought some uh, vintage baby clothes and some doilies. And I even did some on my own crocheting. Um, actually, that's the only one that landed on here. I was gonna put more, but I forgot. Um, but I, and then I purchased some lace to add to these, but I really love how it turned out. And um, I'll tell you about it. So this one, this is heart. This is actually a baby bib, an old baby bib. And it's got the lace on there and everything. So that's original to it. It was actually a light pink, as you can see but it has faded a lot and a lot of, a lot of use, I'm sure. Um, there were actually two of them. And um, so this is the first one. Then I also bought a baby dress that had some, oh, it's got booties that go with it. I kept the booties because they were just so precious. And I had a really hard time cutting into the outfit. But again, I felt like this would be a way that this could come back to life and somebody would appreciate it. So I made yo-yos with the with the top, with the fabric from the top. It's kind of a silky fabric, really pretty. I purchased this lace and applied it on here. Purchased this little doily and put it on there. The beads were already on the lace, which was helpful. And then I bought this lace and it's got the pearls already on it. So that was helpful. And then this is the tie from the bib. So I reused the tie. I'm trying to use all the parts. I don't want anything to go to waste. So that was a very simple one. And I love how that one turned out. I think that one's done. And then I just stitched around and then stitched each thing on, made the yo-yos. Um, yeah. The second one is this one. This one got a little fancier, <laughs> as you can see. Um, this is lace that I purchased and I absolutely love it. Um, I made the flower. Uh, not perfect, but it's okay. And I sewed the beads on there. Again, with the lace um, that I that I purchased. Um, there's a doily on here that I purchased from the antique shop. This was a handkerchief that I purchased. It's still got some, it's actually got some holes in it, which I think led to um, making it look even more vintage and pretty. Uh, this was the purchased. And then this was the, uh, this was the, the baby bob top. And then there's a piece of the bib up on here too. Can I see that? I love how it turned out too. And I kind of chopped, um, actually, no, oh, I'm sorry. This is not the lace that I bought. This is a tool. I actually made this one. This was tool that I, uh, that I had in my stash because this is pink and the one I purchased was cream. And then I, uh, sewed the beads on there and then I kind of chopped it. So it was kind of a tattered look. And that's on a piece of, um, onion dyed fabric that I used. So that's the second one. And the third one is my ultimate favorite, you guys. I did this one. Okay, this is, um. can you see it all? Okay, there we go. So we've got the bib in the back. I've got the, tea, the onion dyed fabric in the back as my base. I've got the bib. This was a hand sewn uh, table border that I bought at the antique store. This one was purchased. This one was a large doily that had several of these circles. So I cut one of the circles out. I made the yo-yos. This was out of the baby blouse. These were two fabrics that I had in my stash. This was the purchased lace. 
there's the purchase lace there and a little bit there because it's pink and green on that lace. I think I have that in the bag. That lace is so pretty. I got it from AliExpress and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hang on, I'll show you. This is, the, this is a piece of it. I didn't use the big flowers yet. I'm gonna save those for something different. I just needed a little detail. So this is that lace, it's so pretty. I really love it. So I've got that on here, and then I've got a handkerchief. And did I say the baby blouse there? This is some lace that I purchased. This is a doily from the antique shop. And I think that's everything. Now I said this is a blanket because I made a doll to go with it. So this is a little bit of extra. And um, that's okay. I like to be a little extra and do something a little bit special. So I made this little doll. And I hand stitched her. I wanted her to be a little rugged. So you're going to see threads sticking out. I did that on purpose. Um, I wanted her to look loved and, and older. And I used lace for her hair. Made a little bun in the back. And I hand stitched her clothes. And then she's got a little heart applique on her chest. This is that baby dress that I was talking about. And the the um, embroidery that was on there. I wanted to make sure I used that on something special and I thought this was the perfect project for that. So I hope she likes it. But I think it turned out pretty cute. So that is her blanket. I tried to tie in, everything else was just the pinks and so I wanted to use the blue to make the, the flowers stand out. So I wanted to add blue to her blanket to make it a um, little bit more tied together. Now that's not all. I went a little bit more above and beyond <laughs> paper crafters. I made her a little a journal. So she's got her own little journal. It's got a little Alice in Wonderland on the front and a little clip. And she's got little dangle beads. And I sewed it with my machine. And I decorated the pages, love and hugs. You guys, I had so much fun with this. It reminded me of my cousin and I, we used to play dolls together and we had all the fun things. I put some Tim Holtz in there. Oops, this one might be a little moist there on my coffee filter paper. Oh shoot, I hope I didn't glue it together, okay. And I did some stamping. This one is an actual functioning belly band, so you can pull the little tags out. I put two little tags in there. Thought that was kind of fun. And put a little love bead on there. And put some more. This one's a pocket. They actually come out like a real junk journal. And then I've got the little, I got a sticker in there. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep getting further and further away. I'm looking so that I can see it, not so you guys can see it. And then I've got some mushroom ephemera in there and a little paper clip, a little Tim Holtz paper clip, and some bugs. And this one's glued down, but I want to use that one kind of as a tag, a flip tag, so you can see it at the edge. And then that one. And some birds. And that's it. So that's her little book. I thought that would be cute and fun, a little different. And then I made her a, a paper tag as well. So these beads, I actually sent her a picture. She told me that, um, of the beads, she told me that she loved um, pearls. And she liked things dripping in pearls. And I've got a lot of pearlage on these things, but they're not dripping, but I feel like they're finished. I don't wanna add, keep adding to it. So I actually gave her a small strand of the vintage pearls that I got from the vintage store or from the antique shop. And then I used them on here as well. And so I'll be sending her this card. And then there's little scissors underneath, little die cut scissors, and then the needles and such. And then I made her a little tag to go on top of it. So that is my swap and her name is Wendy. I can't think of her last name right now. I don't think she's on YouTube or anything. Um, I just have um, her in the same group on, on Facebook. I'll have to get her information and see, but I hope she doesn't see this yet because I'm, I'm just gonna ship it out probably tomorrow. So um, I'll be making her um, a quick card as well, just to stick in there and say, hey, and thank you for trading with me. So I hope you guys like this, like it. I hope she loves it. <laughs> I had so much fun making this project. So I just wanted to share. And um, again, welcome to our new subbies. I really appreciate you all and um, can't wait to see the, the channel grow. Invite your friends, share, like, comment, 
notification button, all that good stuff. So thanks again, you guys, for all your support. Love you all. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.